safe wherever he may be your son is safe for you are there with him you are there with him he need but call upon your name he need but call upon your name and he will recollect your safety and your love for they are one safety and your love for the door they are one how can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer be endangered or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you beloved and loving in the safe of your fatherly embrace I am in danger nowhere in the world I am in danger nowhere in the world and there we are in truth and there we are in truth no storm can come into the hallowed secure in God we are secure for what can come to threaten God to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him I left its source it will remain no longer than the thought that gave it birth is cherished when the thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness and when the thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness will the world be seen in quite another light and one which leads to must disappear and all its errors vanish now its source has gone and its effects are gone as well the world was made as an attack on God it symbolizes fear and what is fear except love's absence love's absence thus the world was meant to be a place where God could enter not and where his son could be apart be apart from him here was perception born for knowledge could not cause such insane thoughts but eyes deceive and ears hear falsely eyes deceive and ears hear falsely now mistakes become quite possible for certainty has gone the mechanics of illusion have been born have been born instead and now they go to find what has been given them to see their aim is to fulfill the purpose that the world was made to witness of the purpose which was the world was made to witness and make real their aim is to fulfill the purpose which the world was made to witness and make real they see in its illusions but a solid base where truth exists where truth exists upheld apart upheld apart from lies yet everything
witches solution which is kept apart from truth a site was made to lead away from truth it can be redirected the sounds become the call for god and all perception can be given all perception can be given a new purpose by the one who God appointed Savior to the world. Follow his light and see the world as he beholds it. Hear his voice alone in all that speaks to you. alone in all that speaks to you, and let him give you peace and certainty, which you have thrown away, but heaven has preserved for you, preserved for you in him. Let us not rest content until the world has joined our chain. perception joined our change perception let us not rest content until the world has joined our change perception let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete and let us not attempt to change our function, change our function. We must save the world, oh, we must save the world, for we who made it must behold it through the eyes of Christ, that what was made to die can be restored to everlasting light.
Well, thank you all so much for joining me today in studying the Course of Miracles. We're, we're studying Lesson 244, which was the whole lesson we just sang. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Your son is safe wherever he may be, for you are there with him. He need but call upon your name, and he will recollect your safety and your love, for they are one. How can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer? be endangered or experience unhappiness <laughs> when he belongs to you, beloved and loving, in the safety of your fatherly embrace. And there we are in truth. No storm can come into the hallowed haven of our home. In God we are secure. For what can come to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him? I am in danger nowhere in the world. Okay, well, let's uh, take a look in our uh, text reading. And we're in, uh, let's see where we're at today. We're in uh, paragraph tw or, or chapter 26, the end of injustice. The end of injustice. And that's uh, chapter 26, the last section section 10 the end of injustice while you're turning there let's let me tell you what's going on around the world uh it's bacon day this is from holidays and observances <laughs> bacon day <laughs> uh eat outside day and picnic day i guess uh franchise appreciation day international whiskey day love litigating lawyers day <laughs> Uh, cowgirl day you have a horse and you have a and you're a woman day's your day cowgirl day or if you just appreciate uh, horses and anyway happy cowgirl day <laughs> uh, diatomaceous earth day diatomaceous is real small uh, uh, it's a white powder when you get it from the feed store and you can use it for a worm or for horses and cattle uh, uh, use, it, it breaks the, the outside shell. It hits sharp edges on it at a microscopic level. And it, it, it kills a lot of, uh, of different bugs. Used for a lot of things in agriculture. Uh, matchmaker Day. Trail Mix Day. Speak Kind Words Saturday. <laughs> yeah, today, Saturday, August the 31st of 2024. Um we love Memoirs Day, and uh, and then out of edible landscaping, by which I didn't have my uh, my uh, edible landscaping brochure out. Let me grab it real quick, and we'll tell you what a uh, another Vitus. This is a Vitus illisumi illensicumi. I don't know, crossed with the rupestris, and it's the American grape. Uh, American America grape and it says of the America grape out of edible landscaping uh, TV Munson from Denison Texans devoted much of his life to developing grapes that would grow in his challenging area by introducing native species into his breeding program he bred disease resistance into his varieties one of his grapes America we've grown for many years at the nursery the blue-black seeded grape has very acceptable fruit without sprays, annually pruned as concord, which is the long pruning, very resistant to black rot, flavor is very high, America has potential for port wine and dry wine in warmer regions such as zone 7 and 8. Okay, so there's your uh, uh, America grape. Let's see, our word for peace is out of the Ocola people of Australia, and the word is ere. So ere be with you today. All right, let's take a look now. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Before I, I, you, I was playing a, another guitar. Uh, this is a, 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 a good friend of mine that made his crossing on uh, the, did I write that down? It was the April the 26th, and I, failed to write it down here. And it was April 26th, uh, Paul Curtis Stevenson. Uh, his family called him Kurt. And uh, 
to me, it was just uh, Paul. He reminded me of my brother. He died in April, a year after my brother crossed over. He was like a brother to me. Uh, he wasn't a Course in Miracles student. As a matter of fact, he was more of an animist in the sense that he saw God in everything, which is really what Course in Miracles teaches too. But, you know, the Course in Miracles uses words like uh, an, an anthropomorphic concept almost, you know, using God as a father and whatnot, which he wasn't real fond of that thinking. Uh, and I just wanted to point that out that, you know, it's called a Course in Miracles. It's not the Course in Miracles. There's lots of ways to God. And you don't even have to call God God. Matter of fact, he didn't call God God until on he was crossing over. And his sister, their name was Theresa, and she gave me his guitar and his drum as a, in, in an honor of him. So I, I thought, well, I'm going to play it and talk, man. He was my peyote shaman, and um, peyote, the Lofofora Williamsi. Uh, Daniel Smachtenberg says that we probably should quit using peyote because it takes such a long time to, to regrow it. And we should, for people that are trying to use things that kind of help them move along in the inner world and unlock, um, you know, from a, from a plant medicine standpoint, unlock different uh, aspects of the mind. Uh, he, he suggests going to, to different, uh, different things like uh, maybe uh, uh, mushrooms, uh, psilocybin cubensis, or ayahuasca. And he all, she also gave me his drum, which... Uh, So, so anyway, I thank Paul and want to tell him that uh, and, and honor him in your all's presence. Okay, let's take a look at the end of injustice. What then remains to be undone for you to realize their presence? Okay, now let, let's go back and look at the first, the last couple of sentences in the last section. Uh, he's talking about how an ancient miracle has come to bless and to replace an ancient enmity that came to kill. You know, we, we traded uh, hate for love. Instead of a grievance or a condemnation, we've offered a miracle or, or forgiveness. In gentle gratitude to God, the Father and the Son return to what is theirs and will forever be. How is the Holy Spirit's purpose done? For they have come for they have come at last. The end of injustice. What then remains to be undone for you to realize their presence? Only this. You have a differential view of when attack is justified and when you think it is unfair not to be allowed. When you perceive it is unfair, you think that a response of anger now is just, and thus you see what is the same as different. Confusion is not limited. If it occurs at all, it will be total and its presence in whatever form will hide their presence. They are known with clarity or not at all. Confused perception will block knowledge. It is not a question of the size of the confusion or how much it interferes. Its simple presence shuts the door to theirs and keeps them there unknown. Paragraph 2. What does it mean if you perceive attack in certain forms to be unfair to you? It means that there must be some forms in which you think it fair. For otherwise, how could some be evaluated as unfair? Some then are given meaning and perceived as sensible, and only some are seen as meaningless. And this denies the fact that all are senseless, equally without a cause or consequence, and cannot have effects of any kind. Their presence is obscured by any veil that stands between their shining innocence and your awareness that it is your own and equally belongs to every living thing with you. God limits not, and what is limited cannot be heaven, so it must be hell. <laughs> Three, unfairness and attack are one mistake so firmly joined that where one is perceived, the other must be. You cannot be unfairly treated. The belief that you are is but another form of the idea. You are deprived of someone, not yourself. Projection of the cause of sacrifice is the root of everything perceived to be unfair and not your just deserts. 
Yet it is you who ask this of yourself in deep injustice to the Son of God. You have no enemy except yourself, and you are enemy indeed to him because you do not know him as yourself. What could be more unjust than that he be deprived of what he is, denied the right to be himself, and asked to sacrifice his father's love and yours as not his due? 4. Beware of the temptation to perceive yourself unfairly treated. In this view, you seek to find an innocence that is not theirs, but yours alone, and at the cost of someone else's guilt. Can innocence be purchased by the giving of your guilt to someone else? And is it innocence that your attack on him attempts to get? Is it not retribution for your own attack upon the Son of God you seek? Is it not safer to believe that you are innocent of this and victimized despite your innocence? Whatever way the game of guilt is played, there must be loss. <laughs> someone must lose his innocence that someone else can take it from him, making it his own. 5. You think your brother is unfair to you because you think that one must be unfair to make the other innocent. And in this game do you perceive one purpose of your whole relationship, and this you seek to add unto the purpose given it. The Holy Spirit's purpose is to let the presence of your holy guests be known to you, and to this purpose nothing can be added, for the world is purposeless except for this. To add or take away from this one goal is but to take away all purpose from the world, and from yourself, and each unfairness that the world appears to lay upon you, you have laid on it by rendering it purposeless, without the function that the Holy Spirit sees. And simple justice has been thus denied to every living thing upon the earth. And the last paragraph to finish this section, the whole finish the whole chapter actually, uh, six. What this injustice does to you who judge unfairly and who see as you have judged, you cannot calculate. The world grows dim and threatening. Not a trace of all the happy sparkle that salvation brings can you perceive to lighten up your way. And so you see yourself deprived of light, abandoned to the dark, unfairly left without a purpose in a futile world. The world is fair because the Holy Spirit has brought injustice to the light within. And there has all unfairness been solved and been replaced with justice and with love. If you perceive injustice anywhere, you need but say, By this do I deny the presence of the Father and the Son. And I would rather know of them than see injustice, which their presence shines away. <laughs> And we'll include that here in our song. Let's go ahead and uh, close with our song. Uh, I am in danger nowhere in the world. And be sure to do your, uh, your longer quiet time in every morning and every evening. And then throughout the day, every hour of the day, try to remember, I am in danger nowhere in the world. And give God thanks during those hours. And ask for direction as you say, I am in danger nowhere in the world. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Your son is safe wherever he may be, for you are there with him. He need but call upon your name. He but call upon your name and he will recollect your safety and your love for they are one how can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer he cannot be endangered or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you beloved safety of your fatherly embrace. I am in danger nowhere in the world. I am in danger nowhere in the world. And there we are in truth. And there we are in truth. No storm can come God, we are 
are secure in God we are secure for what can come to threaten God to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him I I am in danger nowhere in the world and in honor of my Paudi teacher four eagles standing alone on or on water four eagles standing alone on water Paul Curtis Stevenson I I thank great spirit for his guidance and and I I thank uh, all of you for listening until tomorrow, tell yourself often that you're in danger nowhere in the world. It reminds me of that Bible verse that says, Though I make my bed in hell, thou art there. And though I rise to the heights of heaven, thou art there, or something to that effect. <laughs> and out of the word for peace, out of the Okola people of Australia, array. I am in danger nowhere in the world. Array.